Yo, what is happening everybody? Good morning, good evening. Hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the QPR career mode. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the last episode of the QPR career mode. Um, today we are back with another video. And we have episode 12, I think we're in now. Now, in today's episode, we are running through almost right to the end we got four games of preston huddersfield derby and sheffield united we only have two games more after that and that'll be the end of season one before we get into this don't forget to like the video subscribe if you want to if you are enjoying my content i'm providing you now let's get into it right let's start off where we left off and that was preston away they are 18th in the season let me move my mic out of the way for a bit. So they, yeah, they are 18th uh, in the league. Now we need to kind of catch up with the Dykes goals. Um, we are top of the league, but only by goal difference. We got to watch out for Fulham, Sheffield United, Coventry, West Brom, and Bournemouth. They all still have an opportunity to get to that top spot. But yeah, first things first on the agenda was the youth academy now we have four prospects in the youth academy all looking sharp now obviously one of them we can't sign yet because he's 15 or we might be able to i don't know and they may change the rules on that one but yeah um we have three of them though that are 17 now the guy that catches the eye most at the moment is riley dunbar he is 64 rated He's uh, looking good. He's a right mid. We might obviously change certain things around because we don't know what his actual best position is right now. But apart from that, uh, leave a comment below on if you want to see all three of them 17-year-olds seven, uh, promoted to the senior squad. Um, might help, might not, but we want to see these guys develop and try and make this career mode really really realistic also bringing in young talent now let's get into this game against preston okay everybody we are looking into the teams first we're going to go with our team qpr now we got lynn and dykes all up front with Ilya share and george thomas now obviously if you watched last episode you know for the fact oh we've lost a star player in chris willock chris willock is officially out for the rest of the season with a two-month injury but we had to bring someone to uh, fulfill that spot. Now, he's not as good as Willock, but he is certainly probably in the best position to replace him. Now, that is our front three. Now, I was thinking of using Duke, Duke McKenna, but the problem is every time I seem to play him uh, first team, he's not doing so great. So we're going to leave him on the bench and put no pressure on him. But yeah, we've got Sanfield, Dazelle, both in the middle. We've got McCallum, Greaves, Dunn, Dickey, and Moses all at the back with Senny Dien and goal. There's the bench, as you can see. Jordan Archer, Device, Barbe, Amos, Dubikena, Kelman, and Austin all on the bench. Let's jump in to the Preston squad. Now, as you can see, Preston are going with a five at the back with a two in, well, three in midfield and two up front. Now, they got that guy up front, which I'm not going to pronounce, but they got Emil Rice. Uh, Daniel Johnson, Josh Harrop, Izzy Brown, Josh Earl, Andrew Hughes, Patrick, uh, Sepp van der Berg, Joe Rafferty, and Daniel Iverson in goal. There's their bench. They got Scott Sinclair, Sean Maguire, both on the bench. Also, Josh Murphy, and that is also Declan Rudd as well. All the players that I know of. But that is the press team. Now, let's get into this game and hope for the three points. So. QPR, we are kicking off. Can we do something here? Dizel gets tackled. And that should be a yellow card there. Oh, he's off. Red card. I thought he was going to give a yellow, but... Must have been a really bad challenge. It's not the best of challenges, but... I think it's a bit harsh to give a red, to be honest. Didn't win the ball, but yeah. And Moses gets that interception going. Oh, George, what are you doing, mate? Not the greatest of balls. But he pulls it off. With what a shot, and he hits the bar from field. Oh, my God. I'm hoping we get be able to get field in the Premier League to use him. 
he's been phenomenal when Stefan he replaces Stefan Johansson. Let's defend this. Come on. Oh, Ilya wins that ball nicely. And he's on the run with a solo running. Dykes is trying to get to him to help out. I think he's going out for a penalty. Oh my god, it is. I can't believe that's a penalty. I don't know. Yeah, it bumps into him, but... Yeah, oh, we'll take the penalty. Uh, Dykes will take it. Right, what are we going to do with it here? We shoot a score. Dyke scores the penalty just before half time. That gives him 23 goals and maybe in the same category as Grant. There's Dykes. He gets his 23 goals in 39 matches. Brilliant, brilliant record there. So we go 1 0 up with that fluky penalty. Uh, Preston on the kickoff here. And then straight on the attack here with Rice. Brilliant skill there. But Jimmy Dunn gets the ball back. We're just waiting for that whistle to go. Moses sees George on the run though. Heads it down. Waits for someone in there. Dykes. No. Nope. Goalkeeper claims it and it goes out for half time. 1 0. So let's have a look around the grounds. Uh, the main teams that we need to look at West Brom are losing. Thank God for that. Uh, Huddersfield are losing as well. Bournemouth are beating Sheffield United. Coventry are beating Fulham, which is a good result again. And that is looking all right for now. Let's get into the second half. Let's get into the second half with Preston on the kickoff. Izzy Brown on the ball. Come on, you ours. And I say that, and Izzy Brown is creating a chance here with Rafferty. And McCallum wins the ball back, gives it back to Senny. What is Senny going to do with it? It's a Really scary pass there to Dickey. But Moses gives it to Dizel. Sees a field to share. Share shoots. What a finish there. A celebrate with the fans. There you go. Ilya Share with a cracking goal there. Great little passing. All set up by Dizel. So there you go. Ilya Share with another goal for us. We make it 2 0. Keeper should have had it to be honest, but Preston are on the attack straight away again. How phenomenal has Ilya Cher been this season? As well as Lyndon Dykes, well this whole team really. Um, to let you know, we've only bought in two players. A future rising star and a centre back that is destroying it at the moment. So, we're going to make a sub. Well, Preston are first. And then I think it's our turn. Yep, there we go. We're bringing on Calvin and Amos for Dykes and Field. Dykes scored his goal. I wish I could still play him, but I want to keep him fresh for the next game I do. So, yeah. But we're going to make another sub just to waste time and give uh, Drew McKenna a little run out for uh, Thomas. And the whistle could go in, and it does. We finished the game 2-0 against Preston. Great result. Dykes with the goal. What else can be said? So we go 2-0 in that game. Great result for us. We're still top. Fulham won. They're level points of us. They are. Uh, let's have a look at the goal. And Grant scored two goals or one goal, I think. So we need to get more goals from Dykes to get that top scorer. But yeah, great result for us. Let's continue and go ahead. Right, we've got Huddersfield next. Um... Let's just get into this and, uh, well, they are 20 seconds, so we're going to fiddle around with the team a little bit and I'll see you in the game against Huddersfield. So, guys, we are in the Huddersfield game. Let's have a look at the teams and what we've turned around. So, Elias Sher, Dykes and Thomas still all stay up front with their great performance against Preston. We also have Johansson back with Dezel still in the middle. Uh, McCallum, Barbe, Device, Dickey and Moses all at the back with Senny Dieng still in goal. Great, superb form at the moment. Uh, the bench though, uh, there's Jordan Archer, Don Greaves, Amos, Jumacar, Kellen, Austin. Let's see how that does. Let's jump into Huddersfield team. Now, Huddersfield have got three up front with Duan Holmes, with Josh Karoma and Daniel Sinani all up front. With Danny Ward, Reese Brown, 
in the middle. You and then at the back five they've got Josh Rat Ruffles, Lou Levy Colwell, sorry, Tom Lees, Matty Pearson, Pippa, and Schofield in goal. Now on the sub bench they got uh, Toffolo, who I know about, Tom Thomas, who I know about, Jordan Rhodes, everyone knows in the championship. Ben Jackson is a young left back coming through Huddersfield at the moment with Danny Grant and Fraser Campbell. Let's jump into this game and get a three points. So Huddersfield kicked off there. Uh, we're gonna keep on the attack, hopefully, and get this ball straight away. If not, then we are pretty much in trouble. <laughs> This could be an interesting attack here. Oh, Moses intercepts him nicely. It's been very end-to-end -end at the moment. With Johansson on the ball. We're waiting for someone to make some type of movement. Thomas there. Thomas has a pop. Oh, he saves it. What a save by the keeper. That should have gone in. Now Huddersfield are on the attack here with Holmes on the wing. Oh, he's just done him nicely there. Can Dickie get it? Yeah. Should have been a... Oh, he's, Moses giving it away. What a save by Senny Dieng. He's been phenomenal all season for us. Moses on the run here. Can he use that pace and strength of his to get down there? Oh, and his agility is not the greatest. And that should be it for half-time. And it is. We go nil-nil with Huddersfield. It's been a very entertaining game. So, let's have a look around the grounds at the teams that we need to focus on. West Brom are losing again. Oh, God, that's brilliant. Coventry City, 1-0. Um, Fulham are 0-0 with Derby. Sheffield United losing. Great result. Bournemouth are drawing with us by 1-1. I believe that's it for now. Let's jump in to the second half. So, we're going to kick off with we QPR. Uh, we're probably going to think about taking George Thomas off soon. He's not doing too great for us at the moment. Uh, I don't really want to risk Duke McKenna, but I might have to as he's the only guy that can play in that attacking way. Unless we put Ricky J. Jones on that wing. With Lyndon Dykes on the attack here on the ball. Sees Dizel on the run. And he shoots and scores. Dizel grabs the goal. 1-0. Huddersfield couldn't contain that attack. There you go, Andre Dezel with his 8th goal of the season. He's been another phenomenal signing for us. Great little player, like I said last episode. Just reminds me a little of a Jermaine Genius. But hard as well get the kickoff going for this, for that goal. Great interception there by Dezel. Share to Dykes. And he's holding that ball up nicely. And it's gone out. Yellow card again. These fouls are coming quick. Right, we win that free kick. Brilliant. Dickie with a shot. Whew. As you know, Dickie likes them shots from far distance on them runs. Now, Thomas is on the ball here. Sees Johansson on the wing. Johansson gives it to Dickie. Dickie to Thomas. Thomas shoots. And Thomas gets his goal finally to make it 2 0. Very surprised that was a Thomas goal. Thought that would have been Elias share on that. But there you go, 2-0, Thomas with a goal finally, don't know if I can take him off now, right, Barbe on the ball, on the wing to McCallum, and McCallum just gets tackled, but we see him on the run here, McCallum's nice little run, we know he's got a good whip, and Thomas goes in, and I don't think we can take him off now Thomas, he has scored another! Curse of the commentator again. Look at this. Great thing out of nothing. Thomas has just scored another. And it's a nice little goal from him. I don't know if we can take him off now. I don't know if we can now. But yeah, we go 3-0 up in the second half. Now, Brown on the ball here. Trying to get something going for Huddersfield, I think. Now, they might have a chance here. Because I can't get a hold of this player. But they've really... Give away a silly pass. But we're starting to pass it to the Dieng. And Ilya Shell gets it with the head. Sees McCallum on the wing on the run again. Can he get another assist here? Squares it to Johansson. Sees Thomas on the wing. And he gets his hat-trick. Oh my god. There's this hat-trick. 4-0. Wow. I can't believe it. 
How has he done that? He's pulled that out of the hat, hasn't he? Great passing, great goal. That's it. Thomas, hopefully we get more goals out of you. You have proved me wrong with my words in the first half. There you go, son. Get that hat trick. Get that match ball. Wow. What a game. We go 4 0 now. This is going to help us get higher into that number one spot, really, and keep it there. So we're going to take Thomas off. He's got his hat trick. Well done, son. You proved me wrong. We've got Drew McKenna coming on and Amos. Also, Stefan Johansson coming off. 4 0. A game set and match, really. 10 minutes to go plus stoppage time. Another clean sheet, hopefully. Pippa on the board for Huddersfield. And there it is, the full-time whistle. We go 4-0 win. What a game. What a game for us. There you go, George Thomas. With your match ball, you proved me wrong. Congratulations, son. we see you next game. So there you go, everybody. We get a smashing 4-0 win against Huddersfield away there. With Thomas bringing in a hat-trick. Surprising me. Probably surprising all of you as well. Now QPR are now two points clear. Now that is a great result for us. Now Fulham must have drew. So obviously we should have tried to get more goals from Dykes there. He had an opportunity there. But yeah, let's keep going. Our next game is Derby at home. They are pretty much bottom of the league. Um, pretty re realistic there. I'm hoping, I'm actually hoping Wayne Rooney does the uh, incredible job there, what he's doing and keeps them up into the championship but yeah in this game they're not doing too great but yeah let's uh get into this game okay everybody we are in the derby game at home well here's the squad to qpr we've pretty much kept the way it is at the moment with them three up front george thomas Lyndon dykes and idiot share george thomas hopefully continues form with those hat trick he got last game we got Sanfield replacing Johansson and Dazelle still there, obviously, because of the form he's in. Uh, we got Sam McCallum, Jacob Greaves now, and Jimmy Dunn replacing the two at the back. With Dickey still there, and Moses at the back as well with Senny Dieng in goal. There's your bench Jordan Archer, Device, Barbe, Amos, Drew McKenna, Kelman, and Austin. Let's have a look at the Derby team. Now, Derby have got uh, Kazim Richards. One of the strikers that I really hate at the moment. He's just one of them strikers that love scoring against QPR. Uh, we've also got Louis Sibley right behind him with uh, Camille Yozwiak uh, in the left midfield and Jason Knight on the right. You've got Bielik and Bird in the defensive roles with Graham Shinney, uh, Lee Butchman, Butchanen, uh, Richard Stearman, uh, Alice Mateju, and Kelly Roos. All at the back and in goal there. Uh, on the bench, what we got? We got Ryan Osop, uh, Nathan Byron, uh, Tom Lawrence, who I highly rate, Sam Bolduck, who is in the top goal scorers this season, and Curtis Davis, Liam Thompson, and Jack Stretton. There's your derby team. Let's get into this game. It's going to actually be a difficult game, I think, because we're both wearing colours that are confusing. But yeah. We're on the ball. Let's hope for a result here. We win the ball back with Thomas. Through balls it to Dazelle. We see Ilya Cher on the run on the wing. Oh, God, the chance here. What's he going to do with it? Squares it to Dykes. And Dykes gets the goal. Bit sweaty, but I want Dykes to get that golden boot I do because he deserves it. Great assist there as well. Great play with a counter attack. But yeah, I do apologize for the sweaty goal, but I want Dykes to get these goals. So as you can see it, 24 goals of the season. Let's keep that going. Derby on the kickoff here. 11 minutes gone, 1-0. Let's keep it up, keep it going, and hopefully for another clean sheet. Now Derby, oh, he's tried to do Dicky there. See Illish share on the wing. Heads it down to field. We'll see Dazelle, but it's to the Dykes. Dykes holds the ball up well. What's he going to do with it? Luckily, Phil just gets to it. Back to Dykes. Back to McCallum. To Dazelle. Sees Thomas on the wing. What are we going to do here with Moses? Sees Dykes again. Oh, God, this ain't great. Great little play there. Oh. 
Dice keeps it in. Oh, we should have been a goal there. Oh, we're playing this so well right now. Oh, what play? Thomas, what a goal. Come on, boys. I know people might hate a passing sometimes, but that was a perfect, beautiful goal right there. El Clasico right there. We're, oh, man. What a goal. Thomas with another goal as well. Jesus, look at this again. Great little pass in there. Flick by Dykes. 2 0. Oh. What a goal there. I'm so happy with that goal. Really happy. So there you go. 2 0. Thomas with another goal. I know you guys are going to hate me for doing that. See, field in the middle. Sees Thomas. Back to field. Oh, he has a pop, but it's blocked nicely there. And Dazelle wins it back to George Thomas. What a ball to a uh, chair there. What could chair do with it? Sees field. Back to chair. Oh, my God. It's another beautiful goal. It's another beautiful goal. What can I say? Let's go celebrate with the manager. What a goal. We go 3-0 with another supply. Another beautiful goal, let's just say that. But Ilya Shea getting ahead to it was a bit of a shock, to be honest. I'm surprised he got to it. It's almost half time, though, and we are demolishing Derby. They are getting frustrated here. Louis simply getting the yellow card there. All right, blow that whistle, ref. Sees Ilya Shea. He's onside. As a pop, 4 0. What another good goal, man. Oh my god, this is just getting crazy now. Great ball again, great finish by Ilya Cher. 4 0, Ilya Cher with another goal, and there it is, half time. What they've been wanting. Wow, what a game already! What a game. Right, so here we go, around the grounds. Look at the teams that we need to focus on. Fulham are winning, which is not good. Uh, Sheffield United losing. West Brom are drawing 0 0. Middlesbrough losing to Huddersfield. And Coventry and Bournemouth are 1-0 to Bournemouth, basically. Let's, let's get into that second half. Now, we're winning 4-0. <laughs> we're annihilating them. I feel really bad. Uh, but I, I promise you, this is not even... This is on the most difficult difficulty. I don't know what to say, man. The results we're having right now are crazy. Simply gives it to... Bird, Max Bird on the pass to Moses and it's a great little chip by Lawrence Moses gets out barged by Lawrence and he chips this is what he does and chips Seli Dieng what a goal we go 4-1 now Derby get their goal some might say we might have let that in but we didn't honestly Moses is just not that great see Moses on the wing just hoofs it out what we need it is Cher on the run. Could be, oh, you can't blow the whistle there again, ref. Come on. But there it is, 4-1. We go in to that result, 4-1. No goals in that second half for us. It was very uh, more Derby County. But we got the result, that's all that counts. So there you go, a 4-1 victory. We are still two points clear. Fulham won that one. We're two points clear. We're almost 10 points from third. But that result tells you with the points that we can't go below six right now. With three games to go. So happy about that. We've achieved really good. We are now drawing with Grant with Dykes as 24 goals each. We have a good chance of getting Golden Boot here and winning the league. It looks like it could go straight down to the last day. But yeah, we get the result on that one, what we wanted. But apart from that, we got some monthly scouting updates to look into. This is the monthly scouting update from Scotland. Let's have a look at it, what we got here. So, uh, Gordon Galbraith is still being scouted here. It's not looking great though. Uh, anyone new on here? That stands out. Probably Shane Wiley or Willie or whatever, he's a goalkeeper. Uh, 525,000. Um, let's keep a scout report on him because obviously it might change. He seems all right. 
Uh, but apart from that, uh, there's not much really to say. But yeah, not much to say on that scout report. We'll keep a close eye on those certain players that we said. But yeah, right, we have another monthly scouting update, and I'm guessing this is from Holland. So yeah, it's from Holland. Now let's see what they bring us. So looking on here right now, nah, nothing at the moment, nothing at all. It's very disappointing. Um, let's clear some of this clutter away. Uh, so this guy can go. This guy can definitely go. This guy can definitely go as well. Um, we'll keep scout reports on him. He can go. Um, we'll keep because he's fully not scouted yet. We'll get rid of him and we'll leave it like that for no moment because not their full sky report hasn't come yet so as you see it it's our last game of the day we got stoke city away they are seven it's gonna be a pretty much contest for us because they are pushing for playoffs uh we'll sort out the teams and i'll see you in the game right everybody let's look into the qpr team we have Ilisha dykes and george thomas all up front still no change there then three are being superb at the moment with chris willick on the sidelines injured for the rest of the season we have now put stefan johansson back in and dazelle is still there he's just been on top form right now uh sam mccallum as well can't do his doubts him at left back you and bobby and device come back in the center back roles with dicky there still moses is still taking his place but very very lucky by the hinge Sandy Dieng, as you know we gotta keep him in goal he's just superb right now uh there's the bench as you can see, see, still the same pretty much as always. I haven't changed anything just yet. Uh, but yeah, let's check the Stoke City team. Right, Stoke City are going two up front with Jacob Brown and Abdullah Simmer. Crazy striker. we got to watch out for him. He's really good. they got Nick Powell, Sam Klukas and Joe Allen all in midfield with Morgan Fox, James Chester, Harry Salter, Ostegaard and smith all at the back with adam davis and goal the last time we played this davis was on form and really couldn't score against him uh there's your bench with tomins wilmot fletcher sawyers dahani Zurich, and burisic all on the bench there let's jump into this game and hope for the three points so here we go cracking on with the last game of the episode with kickoff hopefully we get this done easy peasy lemon squeezy now goes out for a stoke goal kick and he just boots it up there and we should get this with the cell johansson with the interception great little one two pass there see dykes on the run but he just can't get it into him but the cell with a great interception again right we see dykes oh great play oh we should have thrown it to yeah to Dizel, who we didn't see running at the back there. We get that interception. Oh, and Stoke it in here with Simmer. Can Senny save it? Of course he can. He's on top form, man. But we give it away to Smith. And they're in here again with Brown to Simmer. Great save by Senny DM. Great save. Right, Dykes on the little run there. Wins it. Sees Moses on the wing. Whips it in. Cher gets into it. And it's gone in. The five for five little fella scored. How's he got that? I am so shocked. Who needs Dykes when you got Cher then? So there you go. He gets his. 14 goal of the season. He's been superb this season. As well as in real life for us. What, there's just he's just a um, phenomenal uh, phenomenal youngster he is i'm telling you now if simmer got to the uh got in that would have been it for us we, and he gives it away what is he doing stefan johansson's giving it away and Senny Jen with a superb getting down low like that to win it back simmer on the ball great pass look at him go see there you go there you go there you go and that's what he does to teams he goes straight in for the kill with his speed. We should have got that though. We should have got that. We go 1-1 one, one with Nick Powell in there with a nice little header with that uh, deflection. We get the kickoff. Uh, we got well, it's gone. Well, no point. It's gone straight out for half time. So let's have a look around the grounds on the teams that we need to look at. Huddersfield 1-0. 
Uh, Coventry West Brom 0 0. Fulham 1 1 with Bournemouth. Forest 2 0. Uh, I think that was it, really. Yeah. Let's get into the second half. Right. So, I do believe if we win this game, we do win the league. It's either win the league or confirm promotion. There we go. Moses. And he just hoofs through balls it to Thomas. Thomas crosses it to share. Oh, what a save by... Uh, I think it's Davis in goal. Back to Powell. And just doing a little pass in it. We could actually get be in trouble here. And he whips it in to Joe Allen. Oh my god, what a goal. What a goal. I, that's why I said that we was in trouble. They're just good at them crosses. Joe Allen with a fine finish there. Fine finish. Deserves to have a good look back. Great play there and a finish by Joe Allen. Where was our defence there, man? Where was our defence? Looking at it again in different angles. Wow. Senny was never getting that, was he? Was never getting that. Joe Allen with a wonder strike of a goal there. Nine goals for the season for him. Now, we're making a sub. Johansson off. Sam McCallum off for Greaves. And I believe it is Amos. Let's start this kickoff with down 2-1. If we lose this, it's going to be terrible, man. We need to get a point at least. And there you go. Stoke beat us 2-1. We Lucky strike at the end. It was a beautiful strike. But we lose 2-1. Hopefully Fulham drew or lost to keep us up top spot. Let's go and have a look. But as we're celebrating, I'm guessing we've won the title. We're celebrating like we won the title or finished... In qualifications, automatic qualification. But there you go. You can see the celebrations going on. So something must have happened at the Fulham game. So we lose to Stoke. And there is clarification right there why we were celebrating. Fulham must have drew or lost. They are, we're point clear. But that does mean we, whatever happens, we do finish first or second. Now, if we won that title, we got to win our last two games of the season and just make sure. Dykes couldn't get a goal that game. Luckily, Grant hasn't scored. Right, so we haven't got any more notifications. We have Sheffield United right there waiting for us. They are fifth. Now, we are first position. We end the episode in first position. Of a point clear. Uh, before we end this episode, we are going to give a huge shout out to Ilya Cher. He has got uh, player of the month for us. He has been superb for us this month. Outstanding with the goals, the assists and the great play he's been providing. So congratulations, Ilya Cher, for helping us there. But yeah, apart from that, as you can see, we've got one more episode to go till the season of season one finishes. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the episodes and the season so far. But apart from that, we're going to end it here. And continue with the rest of the season, the last part, and the next episode. So, just want to thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe if you want to. Uh, any advice you want, uh, names or anything, leave a comment below. I really do appreciate it. But apart from that, we'll catch you next episode. Have a great day. Peace.